Good morning, Davao Christian High School. Welcome to school year 2022-2023. Let us all rise for the opening prayer and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for finally letting us conduct our limited face-to-face -face classes. Thank you for helping the teachers and staff prepare for bringing back the students on site. Lord, I pray for this school year. Please guide and help the students understand their lessons and please help them comply all of their assignments, tasks, and projects in time. Lord, I also pray for the teachers. Please bless them wisdom in making and teaching their lessons to the students. Lord, the pandemic is still not over, so I pray that you protect the teachers and students while they are outside, in school, or in their homes. And I pray for anyone who is experiencing COVID and its symptoms. Lord, please heal them and help them recover from the virus. All of this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Itaas natin ang ating kanang kamay at ilagay sa kaliwang bahagi ng ating dibdib at sabay-sabay natin awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Pasisihin sa dagat at pundok Sa simoy at sa langit ng buhay May dilagang tula at awit Sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng wataw At mo'y tagumpay na nagdidilim Ang bituin na taraw niyang kailan pa May di magdidilim Lupa ng araw na magdalit pa sila Ay nangit sa piling mo Ligaya na pa may mga api ang mamatay ng dahil sa iyo. The school seal. The lighthouse is the emblem of Christianity as light of the world. The map of Mindanao is the central place where the lighthouse shines. The cross on top of the lighthouse stands for the spirit of Christianity. The school vision a premier educational institution that produces God-fearing and dynamic leaders. The school mission, to provide a well-rounded Christian education to develop students to become responsible and useful citizens imbued with high Christian ideals. Together, let us sing our school song. <laughs>
To share with us a message this morning is an alumnus of Davao Christian High School, Batch 1995. He is an architect and a pastor of Davao Evangelical Church, a loving husband, and a father of three beautiful children. Please help me welcome Architect Pastor Samuel Paul Lim. Hello there, Davao Christian High School students and parents. My name is Pastor Samuel Lim. And I am so blessed and thrilled to meet you here and share a moment with you. Today is the first day of school. Woohoo! Students, I am very happy for you. Now, how about you? How are you feeling? Are you happy and excited to be back at school? Are you thrilled to meet your classmates and your teachers? Are you eager to learn new lessons? Or are you sad and you wish that school break was longer? Are you worried about the coronavirus? Are you worried what might happen to you as face-to-face -face classes resume? Are you worried about assignments and exams? Are you worried that you might get a failing grade? Are you worried that your classmates might, what they might think about you? You see, this new school, school year will be me and my wife's first time to send our eldest daughter to school. Our daughter will be entering kindergarten at Vimapa. And now it's our first time to enroll her, to buy her uniform, and to buy her school supplies. Now it will be our first time to send her and fetch her from school. Now we are very, very excited for her. But we're also aware that there will be things that will cause us to worry. Whether you're a student, a parent, a teacher, or staff, whether you're a first-timer in school or you're not, I'm pretty sure that you also would have things, you have people and situations that would cause you to worry. But you know what? There's no need to worry. Yes, you heard me right. Do not worry. But you know what? The original idea of not worrying did not come from me. The idea of not worrying came from Jesus Christ himself, who is the Son of God. Jesus said in Matthew 6, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Why would Jesus, the Son of God, command us not to worry? By telling us not to worry, Jesus is not telling us, Hey, just pretend that your problems do not exist. No, that's not what he meant. He knows the reality that we do face problems, big and small, every day. Also, Jesus is not telling us to be careless and irresponsible. He's not saying, just relax, no need for you to study, no need for you to work, no need for you to plan. No, that's not what he was saying. So what does Jesus mean when he says, do not worry? Well, Jesus is saying, do not let your thoughts be consumed with the issues, with the needs, with the problems and challenges you are facing. And why should we not worry? Why? Well, Jesus gives us four reasons why you and I should not worry. The first reason, worrying blinds you from seeing how God truly values you. 
Jesus says, Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in bar barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Look at the birds around you. They sing and they do not worry. Why? Because God values them and provides for them. And if God values the birds so much so that he provides their food every single day, surely God values you much, much more than the birds. So when you see a bird, remember, do not worry because God values you very much and he provides for your needs. The second reason, worrying blinds you from seeing how God truly, truly cares for you. Jesus says, and why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their own clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and throw into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly what? Care for you. Look at the flowers. Aren't they beautiful with their different colors, shapes, and sizes? If God cares for the flowers so much so that he made them so beautiful, surely God cares for you much, much more than the flowers. So when you see a flower, remember, do not worry because God cares for you very much and he provides for your needs. The third reason not to worry, worrying blinds you from seeing that worrying itself is useless. Jesus says, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Well, Jesus is saying, how many of you can you extend your life by worrying? No one. Absolutely none of us, by worrying, can extend our life even a single second. Worrying is absolutely, hear me, absolutely useless. It is absolutely unproductive. It is absolutely fruitless. Worrying does not benefit you and me at all. And in fact, if you keep on worrying, it will even add stress to you. It will give you more sleepless nights. It will affect even your health. So when you start to worry, remember, it is absolutely useless to worry and it will only hurt you. And the fourth reason is actually the result of all the three reasons I mentioned. Worrying keeps you from trusting God. Jesus says, these things dominate the thoughts of who? Unbelievers. But your heavenly Father knows all your needs. Worrying is a characteristic of unbelievers, of people who do not believe and trust in God. And worrying is in fact a sin because it is like telling God, God, you cannot handle my problems, you cannot handle my needs. And when we worry, it shows that we are not trusting God. So what must you do so that you will not worry? Well, you know what? Jesus gives the cure, the antidote to worrying. And that's what he says. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you what? Everything you need. Seek God's kingdom first. Meaning, believe in Jesus as your savior and submit to him as your Lord and the king of your life. You step down from your throne of your life and then you let Jesus take the throne of your life. Make him your Lord and King. And when you believe and submit to Jesus as your Lord, what's the next thing? Live righteously. Righteous living is what characterizes living in God's kingdom. Meaning, you choose to live according to what is right in God's standards, not your standards, not the world's standards. For example, if people cheat, lie, and steal to get what they want, for you to live righteously, you choose to be honest and truthful instead. When you believe and submit to Jesus as your Lord and you live righteously, here is God's direct promise to you. He will give you what? Everything you need. And I'd like you to think about this. Think about this. If God himself, the creator of all the universe, the whole universe, he's the giver of life and he's the source of all blessings and he says that he will provide for you, not just some, but everything that you need. Do you think you still have anything to worry about? Do you still have any reason to worry? The answer is very clear. You have absolutely nothing 
to worry about. So students, whatever challenges you may face in this new school year, don't be overwhelmed. Choose not to worry. Believe in the Lord Jesus and do what is right in God's eyes. And continue to be diligent, continue to strive and do your best, and commit your challenges to God. Trust in Him that He is with you and that He will provide everything you need for you to overcome your challenges. So let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Let's pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, too often we lack the faith to believe in you and your promises that you will provide what we need. And as a result, we worry. And instead of seeking you, we seek after ourselves. We seek the things of this world for solutions. I pray for the students, their parents, and their, teach and the, their teachers and staff of Dawa Christian High School that they will seek your kingdom first and your righteousness first and to trust in you that you will help them and provide what they need to overcome their challenges. May you bless them, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. The Lord bless you. The long wait is finally over. Bukas na ang Dava Christian High School for limited face-to-face -face learning. We are very excited just like all of you are. And you might be wondering, what's new in DCHS Dimapa Campus? Watch this! Magandang umaga sa lahat. Bukas na po tayo. School year 2022-2023 is finally open. While everyone is staying at home and working from home since the pandemic started, our school continued to work and improve to be better. So when you students come back to school, you will only experience comfort and safety while learning inside the campus. I am teacher Lynn Riquillo and I'm a preschool teacher. Where I'm standing right now is our new preschool gate specifically for our preschool pupils. We want a more secured space when parents drop off and fetch their little kids. We also want to welcome you to our new preschool office. Here, you will first be greeted by our preschool department secretary. And this is the office of our preschool principal, Mom Raquel Chan. If you have any concerns with your child, feel free to contact and email us. Again, bukas na po ang inyong pangalawang tahanan preschool pupils. See you! ng mga classrooms para sa pagpapalik paaral ng mundo. Excited na ba kayo naman para sa aking face-to-face -face learning modality? Ako nga pala si Ginang Gurley Fernandez, isa sa mga guro sa elementary department. Halika kayo, may ipapakita ako sa inyo.
Hay! Pasok ka dito sa loob ninyong kusilid aralan. Ako nga pala si Ginoong Jersot, isa sa mga guro ng Junior High School Department. Did you notice something new? Aba, hindi nyo na malayan itong bagong glass boards natin. Pinalitan na kasi yung dating white boards. Diba, kita nyo naman, mas matibay at malinis tingnan. Kaya ingatan nyo ito ano mang meron dito sa loob ng inyong silid aralan. Ano pang bago? Look up and you will notice the newly installed acoustic ceiling boards. These have a lot of benefits. One, it can significantly help to reduce noise. Thus, you can hear your teacher louder and clearer. So, handa na ba kayo sa papalapit na pasukat? Kami, handang-handa na! Kita-kita tayo bukas! Welcome to our school clinic. I am Nurse Jean and with me is Nurse Babs. And we are your school nurses. Thank God that we can go back to school already even if COVID is not totally gone yet. That's why we need to follow protocols for everyone's safety. Welcome to the new normal. Make sure to always wear your face mask at all times and maintain at least one meter distance among everyone around you, including your teachers, classmates, or friends. You will have your designated entrance and exit gates. Each classroom has entrance and exit doors. To ensure at least one meter distance, floor markers are placed under the chairs. We have installed two exhaust fans in every classroom as they help maintain air circulation. So make sure to turn them on while doors are closed. Make sure to always sanitize and clean your area. And of course, hand washing is a very important thing to do for us to get rid of any virus. Lastly, if you are not feeling well, please do not come to school. Inform your teacher, consult your doctor, and rest at home. Other details will be discussed during your orientations. Let us help together beat COVID for a brighter tomorrow. Kita kits bukas! Bukas, magkita-kita tayo dito sa paaralan. Again, don't forget to wear your face mask. To God be the glory.